Hello guys. This is Dr. Rizwan Mirza. Welcome to my channel at Dermatologist. We are starting a new series of videos on glomerulonephritis, including both nephrotic and nephritic syndromes. We start with this introductory video in which we will discuss the difference between nephrotic and nephritic syndromes. So let's begin with glomerulonephritis, which is inflammation and damage to the filtering part of the kidneys called glomerulus. Nephrotic syndrome and nephritic syndromes are two different kidney disorders, and they are characterized by distinct clinical and laboratory features. Nephrotic syndrome primarily involves damage to the podocyte foot processes, which results in increased permeability of the glomerular filtration barrier in the kidneys. Clinical features in nephrotic syndrome include Massive proteinuria, that is excretion of a large amount of protein in the urine, primarily albumin Hypoalbuminemia, low levels of albumin in the blood Generalized edema, swelling, often around the eyes, legs, and abdomen Hyperlipidemia, elevated levels of lipids, like cholesterol and triglycerides, in the blood Nephrotic syndrome is often associated with autoimmune or idiopathic conditions. It can be caused by various underlying conditions, including minimal change disease, focal segmental glomerulosclerosis, and membranous nephropathy. On the other hand, nephritic syndrome is characterized by inflammation of the glomeruli, which results in damage to the glomerular filtration barrier in the kidneys. Clinical features of nephritic syndrome include Hematuria, which is the presence of blood in the urine Hypertension, high blood pressure, often due to salt and water retention Oliguria, reduced urine output Proteinuria, presence of some protein in the urine but not as massive as in nephrotic syndrome Nephritic syndrome is often associated with inflammatory or immune-mediated kidney diseases it can be caused by various underlying conditions, including post-infectious glomerulonephritis, IgA nephropathy, and lupus nephritis. Investigations required to make the diagnosis include complete blood count, urea, creatinine, electrolytes, lipid profile, PTAPTTINR, urine DR, Confirmatory diagnosis is made on the basis of renal biopsy, with the help of histopathological findings. Treatment approaches for both syndrome may differ based on the specific cause and clinical manifestations. Some general approaches to the treatment of both the syndromes include general measures, including managing hypertension, managing hyperlipidemia, managing excess volume including pedal edema or pulmonary edema, Prevent clotting, is protein that prevent clotting is lost in urine. Dietary and lifestyle modifications are made, including Reducing dietary salt intake can help manage edema. A diet low in saturated and trans fats can help manage hyperlipidemia. Limiting protein intake may be necessary to reduce the burden on the kidneys. Then comes, identification and treatment of underlying cause. It involves treatment for the primary condition causing the syndrome, for example, infection, diabetes, hypertension, lupus or hepatitis etc. Syndrome-specific treatment, it varies according to the exact type of syndrome, and may include, immunosuppressive medications, like steroids, cyclophosphamide, MMF, azathioprine, calcineurin inhibitors, including cyclosporin, and tacrolimus. Another mode of treatment is transplantation. In severe cases or when nephrotic syndrome is unresponsive to treatment, kidney transplantation may be considered as a last resort. It must be noted that in case someone notices frothy urine or sudden pedal edema, facial swelling, shortness of breath, or rapid rise in creatinine or sudden hematuria, he must see a nephrologist to rule out possibility of nephrotic or nephritic syndrome. If you have any questions or query, leave us a comment, and we will respond to all the queries. Subscribe to my channel at YouTube at Gertologist and press the bell icon for updated video. You can also follow my page at Facebook and follow me on Instagram.
And if you like the video, don't forget to like and share the video.